Alright, what is up my friends from around the globe, hope you are having a super fantastic day so far, pretty much welcome back to another Python project. So this is indeed our fifth Python project, and today we're going to be making a rock, paper, scissors game. So, firstly, I've just written a comment here, and also the reason I've just got code as opposed to writing it uh, meanwhile, to, meanwhile with uh, speaking, is because it just ended up like being quite long like I think yeah it was it was 61 lines so yeah it's a reasonable amount I was just it got in excess of 15 minutes so I thought it'd just be easier to explain it now seeing as most of the time when I was doing that was just me typing I guess it's probably less explaining and more typing which you guys don't really want to watch so anyway the next thing we want to do is import the random module so the random module acts as something we need because we need to have randomness for the computer Next, we need to set the user score variables to zero and the computer score variables to zero, because this is how many points the users and the user and the computer have to start the game. Next, we have the in-game variable equals true, and the reason we have this is just because in-game equals equals true. I figured I put this in there for you guys if you wanted something to do with it, just because you want to like have another loop ask, do you want to start playing, etc. I just put that in for you guys. It could just be I could have just done while true, and that would have worked also. Next, the correct choice equals true. I'll explain why that's being used later. So the choice of the user equals input, R for rock, P for paper, S for scissors. Choice equals choice dot lower. This turns everything into lowercase. So regardless of whether they put R in uppercase or R in lowercase, it's going to accept them both as, it's going to change them both to lowercase, so both of them can be read as the same thing. Next, if choice is not equal R, so this is some nestled if statements. If choice is not equal R, if choice is not equal S, and choice is not equal P, correct choice equals false, and then you can print invalid choice onto the screen. If the correct choice equal, does equal true, so if the choice is valid, number equals number dot random. This is going to generate a random number for us between 1 and 3, the variables x and y. So, if the number equals 1, computer choice is rock, number is 2, computer choice is paper. If the number is 3, the computer choice becomes scissors. And then we just have some basic logic to see who wins. So, if, if the player's choice is R, computer choice is scissors, then the user score plus equals 1, so the user gets a point. Rock and paper, computer gets a point. Uh, paper and rock, user gets a point. Paper and scissors, computer gets a point. If the player picks scissors and the computer picks paper, user gets a point. If the player picks scissors and the computer picks rock, computer gets a point. And meanwhile, in this loop as well, we just want to print out to the player what actually occurred during the game. So if the computer's choices are, print computer pick rock. If, if the computer's choice is S, print computer pick scissors. And else just pick computer print paper because that's the only remaining option. Then it's going to print out onto the screen U, and it's followed by your score, just a little breaker, and computer followed by the score. And then it's going to have correct choice equals true to give it another chance for the next time we have round. Otherwise, because because we can only have it set to false, we need it to be default. We need the default of it to be true. So anyway, let's just give this a quick run. Alright, hopefully my Python shell loves me. Come on, Python shell, you can do your thing. Epic. So... R for rock, P for papers, S for scissors. So let's go R. Computer pick rock. So we both pick rock, so we drew. R. Computer pick paper, so computer won. Let's go scissors. Computer pick paper, so this time we won and update our score. And then paper. Oh, oops. And then paper. Computer pick rock, so we won again. So now I'm just going to like, we can just spam them. Let's just get some games in. Whoa. Dude, I did so good. And then the computer just overtakes me, so that was pretty cool. So after simulating a couple games, we can see this is what happens. Uh, it just, you know, it became 15 all after a couple games. So as you can see, it worked out pretty well. And also, if you do an invalid choice, like just an irrelevant stuff, it will say invalid choice and ask you to pick again. So anyway, the source code will be in the description if any of you guys want it, just to copy paste straight into your shell. And Anyway, I really hope you did enjoy that video. It was super fantastic fun to make. Thank you once again so much for watching this video. I really hope you're enjoying all these Python projects I've been making lately. And if you're new to my channel, and this is the first video I've ever watched perhaps, I would really appreciate it if you were willing to subscribe to my channel as I do post content reasonably regularly and I just figured it'd be fantastic if you could. So, once again, thanks for watching and have a super fantastic to be there.